Abdul Fatah we saw who and uh, KLT and Nacho might be needing their own very show pretty soon. So high enjoying life with Leicester City after gaining promotion into the Premier League. Uh, you see all the video at the start there of the two of them having a moment together and Fatah Wisaku on the team's parade uh, enjoying the win after they were crowned champions of the championship uh, gaining automatic promotion. Yep, Shush Town joined them uh, they are back in the Premier League for the first time in 22 years. So congratulations to Abdo Fatah Wisaku and also uh, he switched town let's ask the initial town straight into the premier league and it looks like the teams that only joined the premier league last season are also going to relegate to sheffield united luton town and Burnley are uh, looking like the bottom three that will be back in the championship quite unfortunate for those clubs but today kudus mohammed and west ham were giving a footballing lesson as uh, things stand right now david moyes will leave the club and in a post-match press conference david moyes explained why probably his team have not been getting that defensive shape that they were known for last season that got them uh, they are win in the europa league conference league that is and also in the premier league a position which got them back into the europa league proper itself instead of the conference league we're also going to talk about uh, Callum Hudson odoi he found the back of the net twice for Nottingham uh, Forest uh, they looked set to survive and stay in the Premier League we'll look at all that today but as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to click on that notification bell to get more updates 13 successful dribbles the most by any player in the premier league this season that is what kudus mohammed did today kudus was amazing for his club side west ham united but unfortunately it's a team sport and your efforts however great they are might not be enough west ham were giving a humbling at stanford bridge 5-0 it ended as kudus mohammed played the full 90 minutes of the encounter a standout individual performance uh, but an abysmal uh, team performance seeing them lose five goals to zero uh, nicholas jackson was on the score sheet for chelsea uh, cole palmer as well and noni madweke if they'll find the back of the net as the blues got their second win in a row following that 2-0 win versus tottenham hotspur on thursday nights that win means that they move above manchester united who play Crystal Palace. Jordan Ayu and Jeffrey Schlopp will be in action tomorrow. So we'll see how Manchester United and Crystal Palace pan out. If United win in their next four games, it will mean that they can't get a European place. So we'll see how that one goes. We see how Manchester United fare in that game versus Crystal Palace palace on monday night but kudus mohammed and his west ham side will be down hard down for feel hard down by 5-0 loss and david moyes in the post-match press conference talked about the fact that they are best player who gives them a defensive shape Declan Rice was sold last season and probably an adequate replacement was not brought in. As things stand, uh, he will leave the club at the end of the season. Kudus would be working under a new manager. We'll see how that one pans out and we'll see what it how it goes on that front. Callum Atsunodoy was on target uh, for his club side Nottingham Forest as uh, they won their game. A fight for survival in the league received a significant lift thanks to Hudson Odoi who grabbed a brace against Sheffield United. The match saw an early lead for Sheffield, uh, which Ben Berenton Diaz scored from the penalty spot. However, Hudson Odoi quickly equalized, bringing the score to 1-1 uh, before half time. In the second half, English uh, midfielder Ryan Yates uh, put Nottingham Forest ahead and Hudson Odoi Second goal solidified their lead, securing the victory. The crucial win has allowed Nottingham Forest to widen the gap to three points from the relegation zone with just two games left in the season. Hassan Odoi's contributions have been notable since his move to the club last summer with these two goals making 
marking his fourth and fifth for the campaign. The team's prospect looked brighter as they head closer to securing their place in the big time, securing their place in the Premier League. And that comes with a lot of accolades, that comes with a lot of uh, uh, incentives, money wise, that is. Andre Ayu reacted to his goal, first goal at home for the Ghana Black Stars captain who scored a goal for Le Havre. He brings his tally for the season to, I think, three goals. And uh, I wanted to ask the question yesterday, do you still deem Andre Ayu sub Leicester requirements when it comes to the Ghana national team? Probably a topic I should focus on tomorrow because the guy is scoring goals. He's doing something right at club level that is making it possible for him to thrive in there. What is up with him and the national team? Could it be that it's a player who does well just for his club side and probably his national team career uh, might never be revived or we should forget about him and move on from him? Are we throwing the baby out of the bathwater as I always used to say? What is the update? What do you think is the issue with Andre Ayu and the Black Stars? Following the match, he expressed his delight on social media celebrating his inaugural goal at the home stadium. And since his arrival at the club in November 2023, midfielder Yasin Ketcha was also instrumental, scoring twice for Le Havre, uh, once in the 24th minute and again after halftime. Strasbourg caught a goal. That meant that the game ended 3-1. And Andre Ayu was a goal scorer, excited with that one there. I'll end with the Wafu and the 17 Championship, which is said to take place in Ghana in a fortnight time. The Nigerian national team are in trouble. Yes, uh, Nigeria Golden Eaglets are once again racing against time to field the team for successful defense of their championship. Uh, the, this comes after Nigeria has until only Monday to submit a final list to the organizers. It's complete disaster. First, we did not start training camp in good time, and as it is often the case, the majority of the first choice players have now been knocked out after they failed the MRI test. Coach Manu Gaba was reappointed late to his former post, and he is now under even more pressure to line up a team that will qualify for the under 17 Afghan tournament from the Wafu qualifying series from in Ghana from May 15th. The five time world champions are drawn in Group B alongside Burkina Faso, Togo, and Niger Republic. Two years ago, Nuka Ubate led the country to win the sub regional competition only to fail to qualify for the under 17 World Cup. And Nigeria find themselves in a hot bubble. The players feel the MRI test more than half of the team. They have to feel the final squad before tomorrow day closes. Quite a pickle they have here. So that has been it for today. Kudus Mohammed shines in the uh, doom and gloom for West Ham United as they are thrashed by Chelsea. Uh, brace uh, for Ghana man uh, Callum Hudson Odoi. And also, Andre, are you excited by his inaugural goal at home for Le Havre? And uh, Nigeria faced the race against time to field a squad that could play at the Wafu Zone B competition under 17 starting May 15th. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great month.